James Dolan threatening to ban a fan at MSG for heckling him over the selling of the Knicks. You just saw the video there. Max, should the league step in on matters like this? Yes. First, I want to say, I feel sorry for the PR person who had to write that nonsense. Could you imagine working for someone like Dolan who makes you write that utter nonsense? Imagine that for a second. Yes, Adam Silver should seriously consider whether to either make Dolan publicly apologize to that fan. Who the hell is Dolan to have that fan detained by security? By security? How dare he? I, that may be illegal. I don't know. Security detains a fan? Adam Silver should consider doing that with the consequence if Dolan doesn't force him to sell the team. Look, um, Donald Sterling was a bad actor. A bad guy in the NBA, they didn't want him in there, and he made racist comments caught on audio. And Sterling, excuse me, uh, Adam Silver wisely used that as an excuse to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. And this does not rise to the level of racist comments caught on audio. Um, but it would be, in my view, a good idea, a good excuse to get rid of a bad owner who has um, crippled the number one market in the world, let alone in the country, where that team has been a laughing stock for decades under Dolan. Stephen A., let me ask you something. Is it okay to boo a player? Yep. You can boo a player, right? Can you be specific about your grievance with the player? Yes, you can. You should pass the ball. Can you yell, they should trade you to a player, right? How about a coach who you feel has lost it? You should retire. You can say that. But let me get this straight. You can't yell to the owner, sell the team? There was no profanity. And the fact that he would have the nerve to have the PR department write, you can't be rude. It's considered rude to make your feelings known at a basketball game in New York City yeah, in the New NBA? York, you can't boo the owner of the team who has been a laughing stock, who's turned this team into a laughing stock for decades. The nerve of this guy. Do you know how much better off the NBA would be without James Dolan. I think Adam Silver should step in. Hey, Dolan, apologize to that fan or else, ironically, sell the team. Well, first of all, that would be overstepping the bounds. I certainly can't advocate that. Uh, the fact of the matter is Adam Silver can't get rid of an owner of an NBA team. First of all, they're his bosses. Secondly, you can't get rid of an owner because of his incompetence or his inefficiency. You can get rid of him for a lot more egregious errors, but really what it comes down to with James Dolan, here's the biggest problem with James Dolan. Um, he's ineffective and unproductive as the steward of a basketball franchise. The New York Knicks history clearly shows that. Uh, this will mark the sixth straight year they haven't made the playoffs only five times in the last 20 years that they made the postseason since he's taken over the helm. It's just deplorable and it's embarrassing. But you know what J James Dolan's biggest problem is? He's a child. He's a child. I mean, when you consider the fact that the, the kind of things that he ends up in the headlines for, you really find yourself scratching your head and saying, don't you have better things to do? And that fan, certainly, I'm telling you right now, that fan was totally reasonable. Just saying sell the team, so what? You could keep walking. Why would you stop to acknowledge that fan and to get into something with him? The fan did absolutely nothing And wrong. how dare security go over and, to that and, fan? How well, dare they? Well, well you, I can't say how dare how they. How dare they? Well, the security works boss, for Dolan. The, you know, the security works for rules. Dolan. Security works for Dolan. And if you accept the check, from your boss, and your boss what tells What happens you, if that fan tells security, get the hell out of my face? What happens then? He, the, well, then security... They, Puts his hands on him? Oh, wait a then minute. what happens? Max, just Where's two, the legal two right? people are talking, Max. It's my turn. Charles Oakley was physically removed. What do you think they would do to a fan if they did that to so Charles, Charles Oakley? So if Charles Oakley swung on security, he'd be in the wrong? Charles Oakley was considered wrong and had to go to court because of it, Max. No, in fact, Dolan was considered wrong. No, excuse me. Dolan was ultimately considered wrong in the end, but it was usually it was initially Charles Oakley who had to fight with the police. That's all I'm saying. Nobody's saying that Dolan was right. Don't what talk were to the police doing enforcing what James Dolan wanted in that moment? Max, the man runs Madison Square Garden. He gave them orders. They had to follow so, it. Hold on. Wait, it's, I, it's, 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 wait a minute. It's unreasonable as it is in our eyes. And even in their eyes, they have to go through the process. The police do not work for James Dolan. Excuse Security me, does. Excuse me. Security was the ones who ultimately removed 
Oakley from the stands. I was there. They removed him from the stands and took him to the back, and the police were back there waiting. Okay? All I'm saying is, my biggest point is, Dolan is a problem because Dolan is petulant. He's a child. He gets them in the news for the wrong reasons. It's going to be a reason why he gets, he's going to be a, reason, a big reason why they get in the way of potentially getting a marquee big time free agent or two to come to their franchise because they have the coach in place. They have the GM. They have the president of the basketball operations. But because Dolan's there, he's a problem. The difference is as the commissioner at the NBA, that can't be a reason why you get a guy to give up ownership. Look, that's all I'm saying. Look, um, just because security, but if security does believe their job is um, on the line w by following orders that may be illegal, then that's on them. They have to consider whether they want to keep that job. And also, the person giving them that order, if they actually feel that their job is threatened unless they do something potentially illegal, then that the responsibility falls on the person because giving the order. Because the responsibility order. falls on Dolan. That's one. They're not right. going to get in trouble for it. He will. Right. That's one. Two, the police don't work for James Dolan. So just because James Dolan thinks someone's being rude does not mean I was the talking about security for the guard because that's yeah. who was yeah, removing Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But police, right. when police get involved, too, that's messed up. It's like, whoa, what did I do? I'm sitting here. Just yeah. because he's, he... he Owns the th also, you call him a child. He is a child. He is the child, child prodigy. of a billionaire right. who inherited his wealth and can do things like pay rock groups so that his band all, can all open right. for All of that's true. And all, and I'm, and all like I'm saying that. to you is then hold Dolan accountable. Some guy is trying, some that's guy, trying to feed his some family. Some guy is trying to feed his family. I, really, I, I am. Don't hold, him, don't hold time, Dolan accountable. Don't hold him accountable. No, I am holding Dolan accountable. No, you were clear on everything. He's notoriously thin-skinned, and he should be above this. 